Okay, I'm finally getting ready to try my salt dough ornaments. I have no idea what I'm doing. So this is not a tutorial. This is a see how it turns out type video. <laughs> so you start with two cups of flour and one cup of salt. I ran out. Thomas had to get me some more. And that's the dough hook for my mixer. Three quarters of a cup of water, which, as you see, turned out to be not nearly enough, very crumbly. So we added some more. Now, no matter how long I let it mix, it just was not picking up that last little bit in the bottom. So I just kind of mixed it in manually and then put the dough hook back down and let it finish. So I bought some parchment paper for this occasion and I guess I thought I was going to make a whole lot of ornaments. They're not my good cookie sheets, but um, I didn't know I just didn't use my good cookie sheets. Alright, so I put some flour out and I'm working with the dough and now I'm going to try the pasta maker to see if I can get some nice even strips. But as you can see, they're way too thin and that was even the widest setting. That didn't work. So I have these cookie cutters, actually they come in different sizes, but that's the largest one I have. So I went to get a glass so I could get some larger ones, and it worked well. So I slowed it down so you could see these handy dandy stamps I got. They're silicone. And you have, you just peel it off and then you stick it onto this clear block that even has hash marks like a grid for you to see. And then I have read where you're supposed to ink by pressing the pad like that instead of stomping your stamp on your pad. And then you gently make the impression onto the dough. Ta-da! It turned out really well. That one did. So I've peeled it up and now I'm concerned at this point that it's just too thick because I say it takes a long time to dry. So I'm checking it out. Can't make the decision. Oh, do I start over? Do I re-roll? Look how thick it is. Yep, I better redo it. Look how sticky it is trying to get it off. I should have put some flour down before I rolled it the second time. Now I'm doing M's and here I'm switching over to a T because in our family we're named Tucker, Margaret, Tyler, Maggie, and Thomas. Use a regular drinking straw to make the holes so that you can put a ribbon through it to hang the ornament. That was easy enough. Now look how great these silicone stamps are. That part did not stamp. So if you take it off the block and re-ink the area that needs to be filled in, because the stamp is clear, you can easily place it and you can actually kind of bend it so it's not touching the other areas. And you can fix your empty spot. And it worked well, even though you can't see right there, but it, you'll see later. Note to self, gold ink does not work. So 
switched over to the black and I accidentally got it on the edge of the stamp. So here I have a paper towel and I'm edging, wiping off the edge to try it again. Now it's time to get the sticky dough off the counter and onto the cookie sheet. Using a regular spatula, oh, I really distorted it and was very irritated and afraid I'd ruin the whole thing. So I'm off to go look for something that would be more helpful. And this knife did the trick pretty well. It still is not perfectly round. And I wonder if, what would happen if I would have cut it onto the parchment instead of, you know, having to transfer it. I don't know. Poking more holes. Okay, now I want to use my brand new cookie cutter that Kristen had given me in my Secret Santa. Pressed it in, removed the dough, but that was not the thing to do. The weight around it is needed to make it pull off properly. So I squished it, rolled it back out again. At least I remembered to put flour down this time. Press, remove, ah, much better. I am supposed to be removing his feet. You'll see in a little while how that works. So I'm going to add a little color to Santa with some acrylic paint I had left over from something. I have no idea. It's old as the hills. Oh no! I just realized I painted his pom-pom. Oh, oh well. Nothing I can do about that. Keep going. Now while I was painting, it occurred to me that it very well could be a big mishap if he was distorted when I removed him from the counter. So I decided to go ahead and take him off now and finish the job on the pan. This is in slow motion so you can see the actual picture of the Santa and what he's supposed to look like. See, he stands up on those feet or skis or whatever that is. So you want to preheat your oven, I used bake not convection, to 200. And then while the oven preheats, we get to clean up all this mess. Remember the old Bewitch television show? <laughs> this is the way she used to clean up her house. they do take two hours to dry. <clears throat> but I'd say the amount of enjoyment I got from making the ornaments and the amount of 
beauty that they add. In other words, they're cute, but mine aren't nearly as pretty as some people I've seen on Pinterest. Compared to the amount of mess that you make, I mean, look at this. You know, you got all this, you saw what I had to pick up, and I gotta wash all this now, and I probably won't be making these again. Unless I have grandkids who like to craft somewhere down the road, I might be doing that with them because then you're getting more bang for your buck. It'll be a fun activity for them. Thomas said he wanted to do it and he got bored with the process after a little while and that was the end of that. So, of course, he never has been a crafter of that sort. Here's another thing to be conscious of if you're going to do this is the salt really dries your hands out. So I'm going to use a little of my EOS lotion that Kristen gave me in my Secret Santa package to have lovely moistured hands without, did I say moisture? Lovely moisturized hands without the chemicals. Ooh, it smells good. Berry something, it was called. That's good. So here they are. They took over four hours of oven drying time. I did two hours in the big oven and then I kept putting them in the uh, toaster oven. Plus, I just let them sit out and turned them over. I think they're dry. <laughs> I don't know. You probably would want to put some sort of clear coat on it. I can't say I'm excited enough about these to go through all that trouble. I didn't roll them evenly. They, they just are not anything that really floats my boat. I might do something with these. I don't know. But look at the Santa. He came out great. So would I do this activity again? Mm, probably not. Uh, I could see where other people might really get into it, especially those that are, are more crafty and creative than I am. But I was doing it by myself and it just wasn't really all that fun. Much too much mess too. But anyway, that was my activity. That was my experience. Thanks for watching. Bye.